Hi guys, Lily Nova here and welcome to my channel. Last night I had a meditation and met with some different star beings that are engaging with humanity right now. And I wanted to share something that they showed me that has to do with everything that's going on in the world right now. I wanted to make a statement on this before, but I wanted to wait until I got their word and ha saw what they had to say with everything that's going on with the world and with Russia and uh, Ukraine and everything. The first thing that the star beings showed me last night during my meditation was the earth and these waves going around the whole planet, these frequencies. They were telling me that we were raising the frequency of the planet. That's what we must do. And it will create a ripple effect and go across the whole world. And we do this by coming together, by holding peace and love in our hearts, by meditating, by setting the intention. And it will create a ripple effect. The only way that we can get out of this mess is by raising the consciousness of the planet. And how we do it is through peace, love, looking inward and holding that space, sending love out to the rest of the planet because war and hate and separation is a very 3D thing. It's a very dense, low vibrational thing. Where we are going, that can't come. None of that stuff can come. And where war and hate and separation stems from, these very low vibrations, this very dense energy, and a low consciousness. So by raising the vibration of the planet, by coming together in unity, and by raising the consciousness of the planet, these things will just begin to dissolve away. And as we focus our intention on this and actively come together, it will create a ripple effect. Only 10% of us are needed to shift the whole planet. Isn't that amazing? Only 10% of us. If 10% of us got together and meditated for peace and meditated to make peaceful contact, it would be enough to shift the whole planet and would create this beautiful ripple effect raising the whole planet's consciousness and the whole planet's vibration. This is where we're going. And we must come together and work together and focus on our heart space for this to happen. Visualize peace on earth. Visualize love. Visualize making peaceful contact with these enlightened races. The next thing that they showed me was they mentioned the war. They mentioned Putin, and I felt a very Hitler-esque vibe from it. Basically, this is a an attempted repeat at Hitler's ideology, control, hate, separation. But they told me that Putin will not prevail. By coming together, joining together, it, it just won't happen. It's not going to happen. So that's good news. This is a war on frequency. This is a war on lower vibration to high vibration. And the whole planet, like I said, is shifting into this higher vibration. And where we're going, none of this BS can come. Humanity will prevail. This is the message that they sent to me. They also mentioned Pfizer and said that Pfizer will be exposed. This is written in the stars. <laughs> the truth is beginning to come out. People are beginning to wake up. Do not be afraid. Do not fear. That is that lower vibration. That is that low frequency that keeps us stuck and not being able to expand. Be inspired instead to unify so that we can defeat fear, hate, separation once and for all. That being said, I know it can be hard on focusing on peace and love and while all of this chaos is going on. And I'd like to add cleanse and protect your energy. That is what we are here to do. We're here to transmute these difficult energies and create a new world. But that being said, as star seeds, we tend to be sensitive to all of the energy around us. So if you are having anxiety, 
fear or depression. It could be energy from the collective. It could be not even your thoughts, not even your feelings, but you're feeling it from around you. So right now it is very important to cleanse and protect your energy. You can envision a white bubble of light around you. Make sure you're doing a a cleansing and clearing each day. It could be a 10, 15 second thing. Just set your intention on it and imagine this bubble around you. This will help you to keep your vibration high. And that's what we need right now. We need our light and our vibration high. We are lighthouses in the darkness. And we will help show people a new way. I would also like to add that the, the star beings are here supporting us. They know what's going on. They will not allow us to destroy the planet. It's already written in the stars. They told me Putin will not prevail and Pfizer will be exposed. I saw the frequencies going across the whole planet, creating a ripple effect in unity and peace and love. But for those who are asking, why don't they just come down? Why don't they save us? First off, they are here supporting us. They are here guiding us. But it's also an inside job. We have to do this for ourselves and they are holding our hand helping us that'd be like a baby we're the babies trying to teach a baby how to walk you you can't walk for them they have to learn how to do it themselves but you stand next to them and and you help guide them and if they fall down you help them back up that is what the star beings and the ufos are here doing send love around the world to help heal from what's going on right now, have faith, and we must do our part. We can ask for support, we can ask for guidance. I have a starseed mantra and a three keys to connect video on my YouTube channel. I highly suggest you go back and watch those, recite those, do that exercise. It also has a cleansing and clearing exercise built into it. And reach out, ask for assistance. We have free will. It is up to us to help initiate this dialogue, this communication, and this connection with them. And like I said, it just takes 10% of the world to come together for peace, love, unity, and for peaceful contact. And that will be enough to shift the whole planet. We will be living in a very, very different planet. I'm going to be starting live guided CE5s and guided meditations here very, very soon. Let me know in the comments if you would like to join in on these global meditations for peace, love, and peaceful contact. I'm very excited. I, Like I said, I saw the ripple effect going across the planet. We are here to change the planet. And it's going to happen. We just have to come together, stay strong, and have faith. Now, a few weeks ago, I also met a Pleiadian woman, a beautiful Pleiadian woman, and received a channeled message from her. So I would like to end the video with sharing this channeled word-for-word message from this beautiful woman and uh, hope that it helps you in some way. And just remember, you know, they are here supporting us and guiding us and helping to give us the tools to succeed. Recently in meditation, I was visited by a new star being I'd never seen before. This was a Pleiadian woman, very beautiful. She had dark brown hair, and uh, I actually felt so inspired by her that I wanted to draw her. So here's a picture of her. She had a white goddess-like dress on, and like I said, dark brown hair, fair skinned, And she had a message for humanity that I was able to channel and write down, and now I would like to share it with you guys. The human race is a very special species. You have many gifts. Don't let others get you down. Look into your heart, into your soul. Feel the power of the creator within you. Feel the love from our source. Love is all healing, all encompassing. Love is the key 
to unlocking your full potential. We are all connected. We are all one. Come together, help each other, support each other. Come together and rejoice at how beautiful a gift life is. Shine your light. Be true to yourself and give courage to others to do the same. You have been on a long journey and have forgotten yourselves. It is time now to remember. It is time to remember who you really are. You are beautiful. You are strong. Stand tall and witness your divinity. I am Ahara from the Pleiades, and we are here supporting you. <laughs>